Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Complete Pokemon Legends Arceus, episode 3. Uh, great, I'm already losing track of this. We are off to the Obsidian Fieldlands to go catch, uh, there's a Bidoof, a Shinx. We're gonna fail the mission, aren't we? I can't remember what the third one is. <laughs> Yeah, start our Pokemon, we'll start our Cyndaquil in hand. So we have to go and catch three different Pokemon. So anyways, this is our base camp. So we start to finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. Do a task with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, that was the other one, Starly. And Shinx. Curious to see if the professor's stories, but you are really true. He's just casually here. Well, uh, you see, uh, the captain got a hold of me after you left. He impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our uh, sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, uh, I don't intend to lift a finger. Uh, their talents are the real deal. I'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. In other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Well... Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. It'll be more than equal to this. Alright. Very... Crafting. Galaxy Rimber. Rest. Very Monster Hunter-y. Kind of surprised by that. Pokemon Monster Hunter. Not that I'm complaining at all. Okay. <laughs> I cannot go up that small hill. Without being yelled at. This is Aspiration Hill. <laughs> sorry. City and field lands. I'm sorry. I I promise not to make a habit of commenting on uh some of the more uh Notable shortcomings, like noticeable shortcomings of the game, but yeah, I, I've played Breath of the Wild and all three of the Xenoblade games on Switch. I'm going to end the sentence there. <laughs> May be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what the captain taught me. Focusing on the field. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully. Let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. Cool. He magically teleports 60 feet in front of me. Hello? What if I this trial, I have to start by throwing a Pokeball at Bidoof? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Slow start. One Bidoof caught. Now, how did that, like, how do they not catch stuff? Whatever. <laughs> we are dealing with incompetent people. How can you get, not catch things like that? Hello? What do we have? Is it the Starly? Yes, it is. We're just going to catch them in the order that they were listed off. Now, Starly here, let's type to run at the drop of a hat. But not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Crouching down. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, it'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Milk here. That's a toggle. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. 
Cool. And that's Starly caught too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. Okay. Hello. I forgot to share another uh, smidgen of wisdom. What to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote the captain's wise teachings. Have an item at the ready, but uh, want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we figured that out. Once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it'll bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. What? Oh, uh, we've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Whack. Okay. Cool. Okay, no, we can't deviate from the path at all. We must follow the linear path. There it is, Shinx. <laughs> Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Do you know that already? Uh, uh fight it. <laughs> you, you bonk it over the head and then you can catch it. Once aggressive Pokemon get round up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. When you see the ZL button, when you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you'll see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Okay. Wait. Okay. The X icon will appear above a Pokemon as have picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. So yes, unless you go and bonk them over the head. But not to worry, I'll, I'll teach you the trick to catching them. Draw them in battle. Yes, 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 of course. Yes. Bonk the Pokemon. Yep, we throw it and then we bonk them. Go bonk the Shinx. Yeah. Um, I, uh, oh, that's really nice. Uses action speed, yeah. Um, they have the same power as quick attack, so I can probably get second turn, maybe. Okay, it's just going to not do anything. Oh, quick attack. Uh, items? Boogie ball. And now it just works like a normal Pokemon game. Cool. Oink. <laughs> this is the face. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. We can catch three Pokemon. Cool. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, ho, I see you passed the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went into just that. Congratulations, Andrew. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for... Com okay. I was not expecting that. Now then, we best report to the captain. Uh, time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Sure. Let us do that. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. Most, the most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. I thought we have anyone who... Great. <laughs> oh, we'll find somebody out there who has six, so we can fight them. <laughs> Come now, you two, let's not dilly-dally. 
Captain, uh, the captain awaits our report at headquarters. Can't wait to see the captain's reaction. You'll probably be disappointed. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Seems we don't have uh, we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You passed our trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. Is that a high hurdle to juggle? But a stranger like yourself could, could be worthy, but you've cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Hands me ODM gear. Oh no. <laughs> I need to stop making that reference. <laughs> we received a Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is our first official order from your captain. Alright, so let us go and do just that. I believe it was to the left here, yes. Quest markers in a Pokemon game. <laughs> what a day. Ah, yes, the ubiquitous change outfit and a mirror system. Ah, we do get... Uh, what am I looking at? Oh, eye color. Okay. I like the yellow. I actually like the purple more. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. I was like, what? Of what are these options? Oh, they're eye color. Change into your Survey Corps uniform! Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. During our, your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. We wear this as well. Ah, there we go. Thought I wanted to get that. And this is why I chose this character. It's because I prefer their design compared to Rai. Rai? Ra How do you pronounce their name? I prevent present yourself to the commander. Third floor, you said? This is either floor zero or one. One or two. Okay, I assume that... Okay, yeah, this is floor three then. <laughs> I don't know what numbering system they're using. I've been waiting for you. Hello. <laughs> I'm Komodo. K Komodo? Thank you, Brain, for reading that correctly. Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Sandrew? Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the sky in that rift. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Oh, like, physically? <laughs> Uh, neither of these seem like good options. Um. Uh, just chuck him. Chuck him across the room. Yeah. 
Hmm, you've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Alright then. <laughs> Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider. Who literally fell out of the blue. Right out of the blue. I can speak. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Sandra. Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Ah, uh, yes sir, I will. Complete the first story mission. Galaxy Team's entry trial. What about this? I wonder what is in store for us next. So the commander has also accepted you. But to understand this, you begin as a no star, recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, you may move up through the ranks. Indeed! Oh, I forgot this voice already. <laughs> Indeed! You see, the more you add to the Pokédex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours, to seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you'll need this. You obtain the recipe for crafting Pokéballs! Oh, that's nice. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Ah, the berries are back, it seems. And 3,000 Poke- uh, and 3,000 Poke Dollies as well. You'll have to buy the necessary materials. Alright. You are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what they need to know. Yes, Captain. Uh, da, 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 get ready for a lesson in crafting. Tutorials. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Uh, whatever you need in your survey work, you'll most mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. Listen to me prattle on. Let's go to the craftworks so you can try it yourself. The basics of crafting. Whew! There we go. A lot of dialogue. Quite a lot of introductory dialogue. Well done earning a place on our team. My name is Anth? Antha? And. I'm not for sure how to pronounce names like this. I'm the local uh, clothier. Uh, the professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail, uh, avail yourself of the village's humble shops. I'm never sure how, basically, I'm never sure how to pronounce names that end with an E, just Oh, this way the craft. Just because I have no clue what some of them, I just have no clue what culture they're bringing the name in from, and a lot of different languages pronounce e's at the end of names differently. This here is craft works, and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Yes, it is. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. And, as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Any recipes you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. Crafting items. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Cool. So, Pokeballs. I'll make 15. I don't know if I'm supposed to make all 20. But I want to keep some of the materials. Probably not necessary, but whatever. Hey! Basics of crafting is done. Oh-ho! Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this is your first time stepping up to the workbench. 
or call, of course, that Pokemon uh, possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, so they, uh, blah, blah, yes. Also, so that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. You can see, ah, there we go. What about, okay. So this is where all of our Pokemon information is stored. Yeah. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon that there are in this grand region. We'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokédex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'll be able to help. Uh, I'll be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good Sandrew. Alright. Can do. Hey, uh, excuse me. I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the field lands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? Sure, yeah, I can do. I'm staying guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Side quests. Sure. I'll take your side quest. Hey, uh, so there's this Pokemon called Wormple. Have you heard of it? Ah, uh, yes, I have. Well, see, I was having a chat with Professor Flaventon, and he told me that uh, after a Pokemon game gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. So there's a phenomenon called evolution. So we know how evolution works. Basically, you'll level up Pokemon enough, you'll turn to a slightly different Pokemon and be more powerful. Cool. And so I decided to raise a Wurmple myself and have it re evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? Catch a Wurmple. Could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. I can get this man his Wurmple. <laughs> yeah. A lot of different quests here. Anyways, before heading out, I am going to end the episode here. This time we... What did we do? Oh yeah, uh, we got the... We, we completed our first field mission. Went over to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Caught three Pokemon. Got our uniform. Talked to the commander, and just kind of learned how a bunch of stuff works in the game. So yeah. Woo. That was fun. So far I'm enjoying the game. Still... Still a little bit, uh, cautious just because of the Pokemon game, but, you know, I I'm enjoying this so far. It's completely unlike any of the other ones I've played. Um, yeah. That will be it for this episode. Thank you, as usual. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it was at least a little entertaining. I know there's a lot of... There's a surprising amount of exposition in this game. Just a lot of early dialogue. But we should be starting to get into the, the kind of core gameplay loop soon. Of going out in the field, catching Pokemon, battling. Hopefully a bit less dialogue. My, vo my, my throat is getting very tired. <laughs> Anyways. Hope to see you next time, and have a very good rest of your day. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, hope you have a good day, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye.